Hi, welcome to birthdaypartymagician.com. I'm Julian. I'm here with Josh again. And I'm going to let you in on a little magic secret, Josh. It's called the Goldilocks and the Three Bears Rule of Magic. You can always find out whether something's the right weight. I want to use one of these cups here. Ooh, this one's too heavy. Hmm, this one, it's... Whoa! I think I said, whoa! It's too light. This one here, oh, just right. Take those out. All right, Josh, let me introduce you to my friend, Harry Houdini. The man that no chains or shackles could keep locked up. And he's muscly. Can you see his muscles there? Now, what Harry's going to do, he's going to escape from this glass. And so you don't think I've got another one snuck in here somewhere. Another Harry Houdini. I want you to take this bit of tape and sign your name. Off you go. Sign your name on there so you know that that's the only Harry Houdini dishcloth or in this room at least. You happy with that? You're going to see that again? Yep. Take Harry, put him in the glass. Now, when Harry used to do his escapes, he always used to do it hidden, so people couldn't see his secrets, and it's going to be the same way this way. He's going to go around the rubber band here. Josh, I want you to take your hands and hold that round there so Harry can't get out. There he goes. Don't let him sneak out. Now, Harry's going to try to get out. He's going to do it on the count of three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. Yeah! Three. Harry Houdini, he's out. Check him out. Wow. Is that the same one? Alrighty. Check out the dishcloth. Check out the glass. Check out the rubber band. Another mystery, Josh. Here's how Harry gets out. Now, when I started, I did the little flying away cup gag. I call it the Goldilocks principle where, oh, that one's too heavy. That one's too light. How do you make a cup fly away? It's really easy. You stick your thumb in the back. Just punch a hole in the back of a paper cup or a styrofoam cup so it's snug and sits on your finger. Keep your angles right so people don't see around the side. It's a little bit of acting. When you let it go up, you sort of chase it away, then grab it and pull it back. And so it's trying to get away from you. And that's what makes it look like it's flying. Right. The secret to Harry getting out is all in the glass. Now, it's important when you get one of these glasses that the top is the same size as the bottom, or thereabouts. It needs to be a fairly straight-sided glass. Do not get one of these glasses here where it's got a thin bottom and a big top. It won't work. And it doesn't need to be a tall glass. It can be a short glass as long as it's straight-sided. Now, so you can see clearly, I have a glass here with a piece of orange tape around the top, and you know which is the top and which is the bottom. The orange is at the top. I use a dishcloth, you can use a hanky, you can draw any picture on there, you can name it any character you want. I just called him Harry. The important thing is when it goes in there, it's a sort of a snug fit, it doesn't fall out, because that's all part of the secret. You hold the bottom of the glass with your thumb and your middle finger. And when you hold it tight, it stays there, but when you release the pressure, it tips over, and that's the whole secret. But that is done behind the tea towel. And so you can see it clearly, instead of a tea towel, I've got a bit of plastic here. So Harry goes in there, you say, now, whatever your thing is, I just said that Harry has to do it undercover, like Harry Houdini did. When that comes there, you let it tip over, and then you put the plastic or the, the tea towel over the top and secure it. The same thing when you're taking it out, when you're finished, when Harry's out. That's up like that. That's covered with a rubber band around it, you take the rubber band off and it comes out that quickly. And that's the whole secret to getting Harry out of the glass. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it.